So you're going to apply your ink and then you're going to sort of daub it off a little bit because if you go right directly to your paper um, it's going to leave sort of marks and lines. It won't look soft. So then I start up at the top. Okay, can you see? Okay. And just really lightly with a circular motion. I just sponge over my template. Like that. Now, if I need more ink, I just sort of dab and I always rub it off a little bit before going on to my project. Okay, so then when you remove it, you can see where you have the first sort of cloud line. And then you're going to want to maybe just move it over a little bit. And then you're going to add in the next cloud. And don't be concerned if you're sort of going over the white on the top cloud. It's, it's going to look pretty. Don't worry. See? I'm going to put that one there. So you're just going to keep moving your, your template around so it's not always in the same place and then your clouds will look really natural. And because I've put my mask on my image, I don't have to worry about that at all. Okay. So it takes a little bit of time, but as you can see, it's really, it's not very hard. All right, and um, I think I'm just going to Gently work a little bit of ink here. Okay, so I'm just going to move it over so I can do this area here now. And, um, I'll line it up like that. And maybe like that. And again, I'm going to want to sort of put a little bit here so it's not so stark. OK, 
Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come in and just darken up the edges a little bit. And I'm even going to do a little bit here where my grass is. Like that. Okay, so now we can pull off the mask. put it aside to keep it for another another day and um, there you have um, a really pretty sky background and um, it was pretty easy <laughs>